Inclusion of students with autism in the general classroom can minimize stigma against autism while students learn how to communicate appropriately with one another. How can this be achieved? Experts predict Niger's currency, that's the Naira, will further depreciate while the gross domestic product GDP will further grow by almost 3%. What is the implication of this on our economy? And we will be reviewing the biggest stories uh, making front page on national dailies. Good morning to you. This is The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadonye. And I am Messi Bopo. Good morning to you. Well, it's glad to have you join us. We trust you had yourself a rested um, night and um, you are braced up for the day ahead. Uh, today promises to be anything you want it to be. You can achieve virtually anything you want to achieve if you just put your mind to it. Nothing is impossible for you. I just want you to just wake up knowing that um, life can be good in as much as we have all of um, the issues surrounding us, but somehow there's always a silver lining somewhere. I'm not trying to be very philosophical this morning, it's just how I feel. Welcome to the breakfast. Uh, let's uh, go to what is trending right now. The NIN is in the news and the SIM linkage is also in the news. Over time, uh, the federal government has extended and Nigerians have been asked to go and link their SIM, uh, you know, with their national identity numbers. And federal government has actually given approval to bar lines uh, uh, without any, you know, from uh, making uh, outgoing calls right. Yeah, so it is what it is right now. Uh, well, people would say that um, uh, if you have to make people do things, uh, you don't have to use the sledgehammer. You could go about moral suasion. But then another school of thought says uh, that uh, the federal government has given several, you know, extension over time. That by now, almost everyone should have uh, been able to link their uh, the SIM cards to their national identification number. The federal government has, over time, you know, come out to say what some of the uh, you know advantage uh, advantages are, you know, of linking the SIM to the NIN. It will curb crime. It will uh, identify uh, individuals and people who uh, perpetrate crime somehow can, you know, be identified. Mercy, have you linked your, all your SIMs? to your NIN? Well, um, there's a lot of conversations surrounding <laughs> yes, there are. Um, this SIM linkage mm. and some persons are saying, uh, they're querying the fact that, hey, the essence of all of this you hear that the government is saying is for administration, the administrative security policy and, you know, what have you to mm. help them curb and uh, battle crime and criminality. But there's a lot of arguments surrounding this and some people are saying, how far have we fed? Yeah. I mean, with the NIN and the same linkage, it feels like, you know, the bandits, the terrorists are on top of their game. And so what's the essence of all of this? So that's uh, part of the conversation that's going on in the space. But one would think, like you've mentioned, the government should be a little bit considerate. I think it should just be, uh, you know, a continuous process. I, I agree. It I should agree. be a continuous process. Oh, you just wake up and threaten people. <laughs> no, I just, I just believe that um, over time, you know, uh, uh, people actually want to link their SIM card. You know, the bottlenecks people had to go through sometime last year, you know, with uh, the convergence of people at uh, various registration centers, it became like uh, uh, almost impossible. Some people spend hours, some people have, you know, had to leave uh, you know, very early so they don't, uh, so they be at the, the front of the queue so they can actually do these linkages and get to do their normal activities. Some people was just so hectic at a the, at the point, they just gave up the whole idea. No, but then, like you said, it should be a continuous process, and um, over time, uh, hopefully, you know, we'll get um, the uh, the autumn out of all of this. So, uh, as much as that sounds very brilliant, I mean, it sounds like it's something that's very fantastic, fantastic idea, but it, it leaves a lot of question when you find the government trying to stampede. It's like, hey, you, you have to do, do it now. <laughs> it, it must be now. But rather, um, I think it should just be a continuous process. 
people should be allowed time. There should be constant sensitization. But on the other hand, several questions have been asked. So if we have been asking that let's, you know, have the same linkage mm -hmm. with the NIA and how far have we fed with it, uh, how much have we dealt with all of this, uh, you know, crime and criminality? Not to also mention that these terrorists, if that's the focus, because first, um, before I get back to the fact of the terrorists, mm -hmm. you also need to remember the issue of the B, um, what's it called again? The BVN. The BVN. The BVN and a lot of people are asking if you cannot trace and track criminal elements uh, via the BVN and you know the linkage the accounts, then what exactly are you hoping to achieve? Because we live in an era where there's a lot of technology and a lot of development. And so um, this terrorist, you, you know, it's not a conventional war that they are engaged in. You don't expect them to go the conventional way. So they might just be using their different apps, their different methods where you can, you know, go, go ahead and put a call across to mm -hmm. a number without it being re because, registered yeah, yeah, at the end of the day. The, tr so. the truth is that aside, uh, one of the flaws they made out from the whole BV is that some people, they still do all their transaction, you know, under the table. Most times they still don't even have to go through, you know, what's it called, um, the, the banking process and um, the, the crimes of them laundering money, you know, other ways could be achieved. But then my, my, my issue, the issue I have with all of that then was um, you uh, made all of us uh, uh, struggle to you know, link our BBN. Uh, 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 it sounds like you're very bitter. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. No, it sounds like you're no, very pain. No, no, my line is connected to my BBN. No, no, that's my not the point. To my, BBN. my NI is connected to all my lines. I don't have issues. No, but no. It's a government directive and I have followed No, through. no, I'm just saying that you sound like you went through a lot of pain no, to get the BBN. Like, it's not just about me. And then me. the government it's is saying... It's not just about me. Come on, oh, mercy. No, I'm just trying to, you know, feel as... In, well, a school of thought believes that because Messi, you don't understand. You talked about lots of databases. You do, you have lots of databases. You would register national for ID, national, national identity. Identity. You did that for vote, uh, voter your registration. Your international passports. Mercy, we had all this data, um, all this data. <laughs> but why do we need to do all this duplicity or multiplicity? We don't need all of that. I, I, if you I have think... just the data, but you can actually link whatever you want to link. We need, we need to do this one. Yes, and that's what the government go is saying. And link their we, NIN with their we lines. need to do this Please one. Please do that. It, it doesn't matter whether or not we've been effective with it, tracing terrorists or not. Just do it. You know the government says you do, do it. it, but I mean, on the other hand, how just do you do just wake up and threaten people and tell them that uh, the, the the restriction? Did you try to? Okay, for those who don't. <laughs> No, Those who have linked their, their cards, so, no, so. but you have a lot of persons who are still very adamant. A lot of people why will would not do it. Why would people wait for even the eleven? No, it's, a, it's not. It's not a matter of why would people. You can't have a whole system. There's nothing well, true, that is. Uh, true, true. There are no absolutes, yes, right? So yes. you can't have a. You can't just have it all together. That's the no, point. You would always have people. People will of never. Re there's nothing you're going to do. But the government needs to understand this. I'm thinking that the you know the approach of force is not really necessary. Rather, we need to educate the people. There should be sensitization. If the government is thinking that this is, a, you know, a means, is a policy to secure, even though we have several conspiracy theories surrounding this, then they would rather have, you know, um, the awareness created, the reason pushing this campaign and encourage people, appealing to the minds of the people. Let's not forget that we live in a society where there's a trust deficit. And so whatever it is that government comes up, even if government comes with a very brilliant policy, uh, we still will doubt it because over time uh, a lot has actually happened so it would take a lot for government to gain the trust of the people i don't even want to begin to go into all of the theories that's been put out but hey the approach of saying you're waking up and 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 you know asking telecommunication companies you know to bar calls outgoing calls and you know restrict people Oh my, come on, we're in a democracy. We need to do better. Yeah, yeah. Government should rather take it easy, let it be a continuous process, let the people understand why this should be done. I think that's a better approach. Yes, all right. Uh, move away from that one. Just go and do your, your registration. <laughs> we'll go to Anambra State. Uh, the governor, uh, Chukuma, or Charles Soludo, uh, is in the news. Uh, he has urged them gunmen to uh, uh, stop this whole uh, seat at home order. It has been on uh, in a number of states for quite some time now. I think on Mondays, uh, residents are uh, required to stay at home and not open, you know, for business on Monday. I can imagine how much uh, has been lost uh, uh, 
weekly, on a weekly basis, uh, you know, in the economy of um, a number of states when um, businesses and nothing is allowed to thrive on Mondays. So uh, the new governor is uh, seeking to change a whole lot of things. Uh, I, I don't know how he is going to achieve that, if he is going to have some sort of negotiation uh, with uh, this um, gunman, because a whole lot of people have died. You know, last uh, when he uh, was inaugurated, he talked about this um, uh, end of uh, sitting at home Mondays, and um, people came out and some people died. You know, but then again, I just feel that uh, somehow they, there should be a way to come to a compromise. You can't just uh, allow people to uh, live in fear. You are the governor of the state. Uh, just uh, do anything you can to make sure that people are safe and to make sure that the um, economy, you know, the economy still moves. So if it means uh, bringing um, the, this gunman, or whoever they are, or somehow finding a way to reason with them, well, some, although some people would agree that uh, you don't uh, negotiate uh, with uh, terrorists, terrorist criminals, uh, but then the economy just has to move. I mean, a number of states, you know, I know how much money is made in a number of states. We have big markets. Uh, I don't, have you gone to a number of states? Have you gone to a niche? Or P. Wake? Have you gone to <laughs> It sounds, it sounds like you're about to do one of those promo. But, um, <laughs> but, 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 but looking at it, um, yeah. we, we understand the concerns of a lot mm -hmm. of persons who have decided to say, hey, we want a referendum. We want, um, you know, self-sovereignty. I mean, we want that sovereignty. Self -determination. We want yeah. self-determination, whatever you want to, however you want to put it. But it's a lot. As uh, looking at the thoughts of the people on the microblogging platform, that's Twitter, some people are saying that the governor needs to be very careful. Mm, yes, indeed. it's a very sensitive issue. Very, very. Um, one would ask that um, dialogue, I feel like p violence has never solved the problem. But there's a lot to look at. So you have a group of persons who are saying that this issue of sit at home order, and for every time you have people sitting at home, uh, then you have lives being killed. I mean, people are being killed. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, some people are saying that IPOP would never, those who are fighting for freedom, would never kill people. You know, Did kill people. Kill, who kills, who, so who, yeah, so so that's who, the point. The you you remember the time where we also had uh, recently, uh, just some weeks back, where we had the fact that there was a letter that was making the rounds and asking the people not to recite, uh, you know, the national anthem, and then they have to sit at home. There was a lot, and you know, under the, the letter was signed by unknown gunmen. So, but I also think that it's also part of the system. The government, the new government is coming. Uh, let's not forget that Anambra State is still just one state within the South is, but there's a lot that needs to be done. You know, probably finding out who these people are. If, if, if it's to negotiate, you know, with the, have talks, not necessarily negotiate. Because if it's IPOP, the IPOP over time have constantly said that they're not, they don't kill. That's not their mode of operation. But, yeah. And so, so who are the elements that have actually hijacked the system? Understanding that this is what's going on. They take over, you know, they take advantage of the system and then they begin to perpetrate evil. But let's talk about the Citadel or the, we understand, um, you know, the points that have been laid out. We understand. But you also need to look at it as much as you're asking that um, you want self-governance self or self-government, you also need to look at the the pattern, the strategy that you have been using over time. Has it yielded any result? Because what would happen, like you have mentioned, is that um, there's a lot that's been going on. People are, those who are into businesses, so you, you look at the streets, deserted. very deserted, nobody's out. That would mean that businesses are not thriving, people are not exchanging you know, services and being paid for the services they're exchanging. I mean, goods and services cannot be you know, put out there. So it's actually destroying the economy of that state and even the yeah. southeast region. So those who are actually proposing the sit at home order, so saying, yes, the sit at home order is for the release of Nam Dikan, who has to be released. We also need to understand that the case is in court. But however, if we need to have a political discourse or a dialogue, that should rather be the approach. Asking people to sit at home is destroying your economy. People are getting hungry. It's not solving the problem. It's not yielded any result. I think that we need to, you know, because if you constantly do a thing in a particular way, you need to think about it. 
we can't do a thing over and over and again and expect a result. different result. Yeah, I mean, so over. so you, you do, that those who are actually pushing for this and those who are asking for sit at home order, uh, despite you know all of the arguments that you have, but you need to t take it sit back. You know, take some st steps back and think about it. Has it yielded any result for you? Are you not destroying the economy of the people? And some people say no. Nobody forced anybody to sit at home. The people have willingly. The people have decided to sit at home. But don't you think that some people are just afraid for their lives? And mm -hmm. they have decided to sit at home because, you know, they can't tell. Scared. So, there are mm. different ways to kill a rat. Yeah, yeah so you might want to use um, <laughs> the rat gum. You might want to use um, a rat poison. You want to use um, a mouse trap. Whatever works so, for you. So, you know, you know so how long, to kill a rat. Mercy, not many rats are donkey for this life. <laughs> Whatever works for you, so long as um, you actually achieve um, that purpose, um, uh, so long as everyone uh, at the end of the day feels secure, that is what we are talking about. We'll move away from Anambra State and I will go over to Sri Lanka. I'm trying to imagine if this can ever happen in Nigeria. You know, uh, with all of um, the fuel issues uh, we've had over time with um, um, diesel being as expensive as it is right now. Diesel uh, is way over 700, about 800 or more in you know, a different um, location. Um, people are paying through their noses to get um, diesel. You know, all we've had to go through last month or the month before that uh, you know, long queues that resurfaced across all part of the country, Nigerians, you know, Nigerians were groaning in agony. They were agonizing because uh, we couldn't really get fuel in our own country when we, uh, you know, explore. We have uh, crude abound here in our country. Well, the story is not about Nigeria anyway, so let me not just uh, derail completely. But it is about the ministers um, in Sri Lanka who resigned over fuel scarcity protest. No, 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 did I resign because they had to resign? It was mm. because protesters forced all of these ministers to resign. Mercy, you do you not mean that we've gone on protest here in Nigeria? Forced <laughs> <laughs> so, let me not start. No, you go ahead. <laughs> no, no we've, we've over time. You, you know what? Uh, in 2012, we had the whole Occupy Nigeria, you know, sometime in January when Nigerians um, came out uh, in Lagos, really, and uh, for about a week or so, you know, things were, had to, you know, be put to a standstill because over the issue of uh, fuel subsidy uh, uh, removal and all of that, and uh, Nigerians were said no. They occupied Nigeria for uh, for quite some days, uh, although they reverted. But then all the changes that we needed to see, we have not seen over time. And some no minister resigned, though. Mercy. No, no, of course. No, and some of them was forced some to people, resign. Though. I mean, it just shows you that, first of all, government would be government everywhere. True. And government has existed for a certain purpose. Mm -hmm. And the purpose would be, you know, providing the basic necessities of life. It's just fundamental. These are the things. That is the issue of social contract would mm -hmm. be there. And at the time that contract is not being respected, then it will become, you know, an issue, you know, a big issue for, you know, the people. And that's why you're having that in Sri Lanka. Now, um, you would also want to agree that COVID-19 came tops, mm. you know, on the lease. It affected a lot of economies. Mm -hmm. And did, several did, economies did. have not recovered from it. Mostly. But there's no yeah. excuse for not delivering. So there's a lot that's going on. And some people have said, oh, we have closed our eyes, we have shut our eyes, because a lot is going on. And, you know, it feels like we're all fixed and focused on, you know, Russian and Ukraine issue, and no one is paying attention. Mm -hmm. and, but it just goes to show that if government does not keep to their own side of the bargain, then the people have a right and a mandate. Okay, we're just course. hoping that Nigeria is looking at this, because it feels like we're very comfortable in the situation that we're in. <laughs> yes, we'll make it the excuse saying, oh, how many times have we gone out and protest, and then, you know, the, 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 the government will come up with... Um, the security architecture, they use their own instrument, the instrument of the state, you know, to intimidate and harass the people. But for how long will we continue like this? I mean, look at that. All of the ministers resigned. There are a lot of things that has happened that a lot of persons should have resigned long at this moment. Ago. If they don't resign, you, you get them to get out. But how, how would they resign? First of all, the issue, just, you know, in the first quarter of 2022, we have this country, this government, where the president is, a, is in charge of the Ministry of Petroleum, and, and, and we, we had bad petrol imported into the country. <laughs> Nobody's saying anything about that. Nobody has resigned. 
<laughs> you, you, I don't know if you, you're here. The so carpet. there's a lot is going on. A whole but lot going one on. One thing that's the same that would never change is that there would always be dissatisfaction. Mm -hmm. When government does not keep to their own part of the bargain, then you would always have the people come on the other side. And it is because government exists because the people exist. Without the people, there would be no government. And without the government, there would be no government. For you, the you people, can have for the people. The, I mean, the first and so we instance. need to understand all of this relationship. It's a hard time for those who are you know, in Sri Lanka right here. And we're hoping that you know, it gets better. Not that it's quite different you know, with what we're experiencing here in Nigeria. All right, that's all for Top Trending for this Tuesday morning. Like I always say, uh, well, make a... Um, go through all the stories, uh, try and uh, make um, some sense out of it and see how you can actually bring them to bear on yourself and the economy and make your life better and of course in the, the nation better. We'll take a quick break and we'll come back and we'll be going off the press where we will be reviewing the front pages of major dailies across the nation. Stay with us, we'll be right back.